Good day and welcome back to another DBZ Doka Metal video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at basically the main things I would like to see improved in Dokan in 2024. And so this isn't going to be in any specific order of preference. And some of these things have been addressed and I'll actually talk about how they're being addressed and any issues or thoughts I have on the process. So the first one is Explosive Chain Battle and Baton Battle uh, in just some of these side game modes. Uh, explosive Battle is being removed, the rewards are being transferred to a alternate game mode uh, and potentially a new one, but Chain Battle was kind of a failed experiment. Very confusing for players, not enjoyable gameplay, and for me Baton Battle kind of is similar in that vein. The rewards aren't great, the way to play it is not great players catching up on it is not great and just in general the mechanisms aren't fantastic if you're a new player now who wanted to play dokan you'd see baton battle and you would just be lost and confused and just completely out of whack for me baton battle needs a revamp a passive game mode is fine a lot of mobile games have it and i do think it's necessary you know sending your characters out on adventures sending them out to do this but it either needs to be permanent permanently up or it needs to have better rewards during the temporary period it's just in a very lost space i know a lot of people like the card arts but it's not enough to warrant such a horrid game mode and if chain battle can be cut then baton battle without a revamp i think should also be cut next uh, or in terms of just basically quality of life uh, this has been addressed a little bit in two methods uh, but obtaining doken awakening medals and just rewards in general uh, is a very tedious grind and this has actually been addressed so there's a patch out on jp that applies your power level from your profile to apply a bonus to drops now this is okay but it's still a hindrance to a lot of new players so i do hope they continue with the missions uh, if a new player starts dokan and completes the missions or does even a certain number of runs essentially if you're players start Dokan, they should be given missions to obtain their first Dokan Awakening characters summoned off that banner super easily. And I think you need to make sure that you have those. The next is skill orbs. So skill orbs are a great idea. The ability to customize your characters is always something that I approve of, but there has to be a recycling mechanism that's put in place to assist and better organization in general. There are so many different levels of gear now, different types of gear, variations of gear, EX orbs. It is very confusing and a very limited system. Even just having a random recycling mechanism, like how you do in uh, Epic 7 or other games, where you can take, for example, a whole bunch of level one orbs, select a category, and it will produce a minimum level higher orb that players can take. Like sacrifice 20 level one orbs, and get at least a guaranteed level three gold or silver equip just for me is better and means you can convert some of the lower level gear that no one uses or wants to use into something useful next will be the pity system i think everyone knows that this needs to continue to be expanded on this year we got the kind of silver temporary coins which are fantastic but we need to get the ability to use these for Dokken Fest banners as well. It's super important, uh, or a variant of these. It's super important because we need to be able to obtain all the units with a minimum number of summons on that banner. There's no reason players should be going 5,000, 6,000 stones deep without a copy of the character. Even them just giving away one character after 2,500 stones, whatever it is, I personally think it's fine. Um, you know, the ability to at least nab a copy of your favorite character after spending so much money should be something that the game has. Uh, it's not something that should be locked away. They did a good start with legendary banners, but they need to expand it to Dokken Fest banners. And then finally, I want to talk about hard content. So I actually think Dokken actually has enough hard and interesting content for the most part, but I do understand people want to play the game a lot. I think one of the easiest ways to uh, circumvent this is to instill more category missions there's nothing wrong with dropping 20 new category missions for a red zone and much like the android 13 uh, red zone missions that we actually had recently 
which I thought were a great addition, whereby you had a whole bunch of different challenges for the Android 13 you know, red zone, and completing it didn't give you a huge number of stones, but it gave you some skill orbs, it gave you a little bit of stones, gave you some zenny. This is fine for me. Um, you need to get 100 stones every time they drop missions, which is why they don't drop missions, but make it permanent. There's no reason those Android 13 missions needed to be temporary. Could be a new mission category that they add in from time to time, whole bunch of challenges for each and every red zone, and I think it'd be good. I also think with Virtual Dirk and Ultimate Clash, there's a lot of catch-up required here. I think they need to have two separate versions. You need to have a Virtual Dirk and Ultimate Clash that is at this level and stays at this level and allows players to continuously obtain a good set of rewards. And then you need to have a mega hard Virtual Dirk and Ultimate Clash of like one round or something that gives an additional 100k. But that's it from me. Bye.